Map to Grow Presence 19 Interesting Facts About Love Before starting the video if you are new here, please like and subscribe Map to Grow. What is love? There is no answer to the question what is love, because love means different things to different people. For some, love is a feeling of strong affection and passion while for others, it is more of a deep admiration and respect. Love can also be simply defined as a strong emotional attachment between two people. Most experts agree that love is primarily made up of four key ingredients, communication, trust, respect, and commitment. Without these four things, it is difficult to maintain a healthy and lasting relationship. Love requires work and effort from both partners in order to stay strong. Studies show that people who are in happy and supportive relationships tend to live longer and have lower stress levels. So not only does love make you feel good emotionally, but it can also improve your physical health. Love is one of the most fascinating topics in the world, and there's a lot we still don't know about it. In this video, we'll explore some interesting facts about love. Number 1. 4 Minutes Logic of Love How long does it take to fall in love? Apparently, only 4 minutes. That's the claim of a new study from the University of Hertfordshire in the UK, which found that it takes just 240 seconds, or 4 minutes, for people to decide if they're attracted to someone. The study, conducted by researchers at the University of Hertfordshire and published in the journal Perception, involved bringing participants into a room one at a time and having them sit across from a member of the opposite sex. The participant was then shown a series of images of the other person gradually becoming more attractive and was asked to rate their level of attraction after each image. What the researchers found was that it took just four minutes for people to decide if they were attracted to the other person or not. Participants' attraction levels increased steadily throughout the four-minute period until they peaked at around the 242nd mark, after which they remained relatively constant. So, if you're on a date and wondering whether there's any potential for romance, just give it four minutes. Chances are, you'll know pretty quickly whether there's a spark or not. Number 2. Cuddling releases natural painkillers When you cuddle with someone you love, your body releases natural painkillers. These painkillers are released by the pituitary gland and help to reduce stress and promote a sense of well-being. Cuddling also increases levels of oxytocin, which is a hormone that promotes bonding and attachment. Number 3. Opposites attract is a myth. A recent study has found that people are actually more likely to be attracted to those who are similar to them, not opposite. The study was conducted by taking a group of people and having them rate the attractiveness of different faces. The results showed that people were more likely to rate faces as attractive if they resembled their own. So, what does this mean for the idea of opposites attract? It seems that it may be nothing more than a myth. People are more likely to be attracted to those who share similar characteristics with them. So, when it comes to finding love, you may want to look for someone who is similar to you. Number 4. Adventure can make you feel more in love. There is a reason experts ask people to bring in some adventure and spontaneity in their relationship. Going on an adventure with someone where some risky situations may be involved is likely to make you both fall in love deeper and quicker than when you are in a mundane life together. Number 5. Intense eye contact can make you fall in love. Intense eye contact can make you fall in love. We've all heard the saying the eyes are the windows to the soul. Well, it turns out there may be some truth to that. A study published in the Journal of Research and Personality found that people who reported being deeply in love gazed into each other's eyes for long periods of time, averaging 3.3 seconds. So what does this mean? The next time you're out on a date, or even just talking to someone you're interested in, try making sustained eye contact. It just might lead to falling in love. Number 6. Women are more attracted to men with a strong sense of humor. It's no secret that women are attracted to men with a great sense of humor. Studies have shown that women are more likely to be attracted to men who can make them laugh, and that sense of humor is one of the most important factors in a man's attractiveness. Why is sense of humor so important? Well, humor is a sign of intelligence, and it's also a way to show off your personality. Women want to be with someone who is fun and interesting, and a good sense of humor is a great way to show that you're both. Humor is also a sign of confidence, which is another quality that women find irresistible. Men who can make jokes and make people laugh are usually the ones who are most confident in themselves, and that confidence is very attractive to women. So if you want to attract the ladies, start working on your sense of humor. Make sure you're funny in all the right ways, and you'll be sure to catch your eye. Number 7. Couples who are too similar to each other are not likely to last. Couples who are too similar to each other are not likely to last. While it may seem like being with someone who is your clone would be ideal, it can actually lead to problems down the road. 
When two people are too similar, they often butt heads because they want things to be done their way. This can lead to arguments and even resentment. It's important to have some differences so that you can learn from each other and grow as a couple. Plus, when you're too similar to your partner, it can get boring. You may find yourself wanting to spice things up with someone new. If you're always on the same page, there's not much room for adventure or excitement. Of course, this doesn't mean that you should be complete opposites. Having some similarities is important so that you have common ground. But it's also essential to have some differences so that your relationship can stay fresh and interesting over time. Number 8. Some people can't feel love. Some people can't feel love because they have a condition called alexithymia. People with alexithymia have difficulty understanding and expressing their own emotions. They may also have trouble understanding the emotions of others. People with alexithymia don't necessarily want to be emotionally distant. In fact, some people with alexithymia may seek out relationships because they want to feel closer to others. However, their difficulty in understanding and expressing emotions can make it difficult for them to form close bonds with others. Number 9. Attraction can be obsessive. It's no secret that love can sometimes make us act in ways we never thought possible. We've all heard stories of people going to extreme lengths for the one they love, whether it's waiting months for a phone call or flying across the world for a chance encounter. But what happens when love becomes an obsession? People who are obsessed with someone may have trouble thinking about anything else. They may fixate on the person they're interested in and become consumed by thoughts of them. This can lead to stalking behavior, as well as making repeated attempts to contact the object of their obsession, even if those attempts are unwanted or unwelcome. Obsessive love can take over someone's life and cause them to neglect their own needs and well-being. If you find yourself obsessing over someone, it's important to seek help from a therapist or counselor who can help you manage your feelings and get back on track. Number 10. Love literally makes you grow. Love is one of the most powerful emotions we experience as human beings. It has the ability to make us feel happy, fulfilled, and complete. But love also has the power to make us grow as people. When we open our hearts to love, we open ourselves up to new possibilities and new ways of thinking and being. We become more compassionate, more understanding, and more tolerant. Love makes us see the world through different eyes, and it allows us to tap into our own potential for greatness. So, if you're wondering how love makes you grow as a person, just look at all the ways it has the power to transform your life. Number 11. The word love finds its origins in Sanskrit. The word love is often used to describe deep affection and strong emotion. But did you know that the word has its origins in Sanskrit? According to linguists, the word love can be traced back to the Sanskrit word lapyati, which means desire. Though the exact origin of the word is unknown, it's thought that lapyati was eventually adopted into English through French. The first recorded use of the word love in English dates back to the 13th century. Interestingly, the Sanskrit root lapyati isn't just used to describe romance romantic love. It can also be used to refer to greed or covetousness. So next time you're feeling lovey-dovey towards someone, you can thank Sanskrit for giving us such a beautiful word. Number 12. Love and lust are both caused by hormones. Though love and lust are both caused by hormones, they are two very different emotions. Love is a much deeper emotion than lust. It is often described as a feeling of strong affection and requires more than just physical attraction. Lust, on the other hand, is a purely physical desire. It is often short-lived and based solely on physical appearance. Number 13. Red Color Magic For example, did you know that wearing red can make you more attractive to the opposite sex? Studies have shown that men are more attracted to women who wear red, while women are more attracted to men who wear red. In addition, the color red has also been shown to increase passion and desire. So, if you're looking to spice up your love life, consider adding a little bit of red into the mix. Number 14. Love makes you lose taste. When you fall in love, your brain releases a cocktail of chemicals that affect how you think and feel. These chemicals can make you feel elated, giddy, and euphoric. They can also affect your appetite and sense of taste. Some people report losing their appetite when they fall in love. This is likely because of the release of adrenaline and cortisol, which are stress hormones. When you're in love, you might not have time to eat or you might be too nervous to eat. You might also find that certain foods don't taste as good as they used to. This is because your brain is releasing less of the chemical dopamine, which is responsible for pleasure and motivation. If you're in love, don't worry about losing your appetite or changing your taste buds. These changes are temporary and will likely balance out once the initial excitement of falling in love wears off. In the meantime, enjoy the ride. Number 15. Men fall in love faster than women. Though love may seem like a mystery, scientists have uncovered some interesting facts about how love works. One finding is that men tend to fall in love faster than women. 
This may be due to the fact that men are more visual than women and thus react more strongly to physical cues. Another possibility is that men simply fall in love more easily than women do. Whatever the reason, the fact remains that men often find themselves head over heels in love before women do. So, if you're wondering why he seems to be moving a bit too fast, it may just be because he's feeling it more deeply than you are. Number 16. Some people don't want to fall in love. Some people go through their whole lives without ever experiencing the true love of another person. For them, the idea of falling in love is simply too scary. The thought of opening themselves up to someone else and being vulnerable is just too much for them to handle. They would rather stay closed off from the world and never experience the joy and happiness that comes with being in a loving relationship. Number 17. Love is addictive as cocaine. Love is one of the most powerful emotions we experience as human beings. Though it can bring us great joy, it can also lead to tremendous pain. Love is often described as feeling like a drug, and in many ways, it is similar to drug addiction. Just like cocaine, love can be addictive. When we fall in love, our brains release a cocktail of chemicals, including dopamine, adrenaline, and norepinephrine. These chemicals have powerful effects on our bodies and minds, making us feel elated, energetic, and focused. We become obsessed with the person we're in love with and can't imagine being without them. Over time, we build up a tolerance to these chemicals and need more and more of the loved one to get the same high. This can lead to dangerous behaviors such as stalking, spying, or becoming overly possessive. We may do things we never thought ourselves capable of in order to keep the relationship going. When the relationship ends or the beloved person dies, we may experience withdrawal symptoms similar to those experienced by drug addicts. We may feel depressed, anxious, confused, and even physically ill. It takes time for our brains to adjust to the lack of chemicals and return to normal functioning. Though love addiction is not an official diagnosis, it is a real phenomenon that can have destructive consequences. Number 18. Love is blind. Love is often said to be blind, and this may be true in some ways. When we are in love, we may not see the faults of our partner. We may overlook things that would otherwise bother us. This can be a good thing, as it allows us to focus on the positive aspects of our relationship. However, it can also be a bad thing. If we are too blinded by love, we may not see when our partner is treating us badly or taking advantage of us. We may stay in a relationship that is unhappy or abusive because we cannot see the reality of what is happening. It is important to be aware of this potential pitfall and to try to remain objective when we are in love. Number 19. Love is everything. A 75-year-long study conducted by a group of researchers at Harvard has shown that love is all that people care about, and it is all that matters. People who participated in the study shared their experiences related to happiness, and they all revolved around love. Love can be found in our daily lives, psychology, biology, history, and so on. All of these love facts are equally important and enlightening. You may have grasped the concept of love and why you should always believe in it. Celebrate if you are with the love of your life. If not, don't worry, love will find its way to you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon for latest videos.